I did character design on My Little Pony for season two, a bit on season three, and a bit on season four. And I actually really enjoy the show. I mean, for me, uh, when I work on the show, the, the person I'm thinking of when I was working on it was my friend's five-year-old daughter. You know, like what she would like to see. I remember a friend of mine said to me, I told him I worked on My Little Pony, and he said, oh, that must be so soul-destroying. And I said, my soul's stronger than that. You know, my soul's stronger than drawing little ponies. And I actually enjoy drawing little ponies with hearts and bows. It's kind of fun. You know, I can, I can, I can sort of go into that inter, inner child and sort, of, and sort of have fun with it. And, and do it and try to inspire other children the way that maybe the original My Little Pony did for me. The only problem with working in animation is that you do get a bit burnt out after a while artistically because I'm drawing day in and day out. Uh, you know, like right now at my job I'm working sometimes 12, 13 hour days. And so for me to work on my own stuff is just very difficult to do and to have that inspiration. And even just physically, my hand hurts, my arm hurts at the end of the day. The origin of Battle Kittens actually came from that frustration of working in animation. I was uh, working on something and I would um, take post-it notes and I would stick them on my desk. And I was just feeling really frustrated and kind of, like, kind of generally angry. And so I was started drawing these very vicious barbarian women just killing each other and uh, when I should have been working. And so it kind of came out of that and I just started posting online these sort of like very violent barbarian women and I was getting actually very positive feedback mostly from women. And I thought, oh these, they need a mighty steed. They need a steed to ride into battle. And I was thinking, oh what about a wild boar? Or what about a big musk ox or something like that? And I thought, well, the most vicious animal that I've ever personally come in contact with are kittens. <laughs> I have many scars to prove it too. So I was thinking, yeah, giant kittens. That leap in creativity from thinking of like a giant boar to a little battle, sweet battle kitten, you have to let the ideas in your mind in. Like you can't have like a very set idea of what you're going to do. You have to go, oh, well, what if or this or what if that and just sort of take these sort of suggestions that the universe might give you and just kind of run with it. To me, the most important aspect of art is sincerity. It has to come from your heart. It has to be something you enjoy doing. It has to be something that that is communicating something that you want to communicate. I actually got in an argument with a friend recently about he was sort of so, you're seeing these young artists who are so slick and he was saying that it was a competition. And I'm like, it's not a competition. There will always be somebody better than you. There will always be somebody worse. And, and I, to me, art was a way to communicate the visions that I see in my head that I can't otherwise articulate. So that was m the only reason I, I can say that I produce art. I have to articulate these visions so other people can know what the hell is going on in my head. Hi, my name is Rebecca Dart, and I'm an artist, cartoonist, and animator.